Alright everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we're playing some Malphite in the top lane. We're running Grasp, Shield Bash, Conditioning, Overgrowth, Mana Flow, and Transcendence. I'm going to try and just get as much armor as I can, because Malphite's one of the strongest top laners right now, and you just go full tank on him. He gains damage off armor, and also, when the enemy team's pretty heavy AD, they're not going to do any damage to me. So, I'm playing this into a set. Normally, I don't like playing versus set, but Malphite's listed as a pretty good matchup for him, so we'll see. Uh, Silas is the only threat on their team for me, I think, because, one, he's AP, and he's, like, Malphite's biggest counter because he steals my ult. So, we're going to go Iceborne into Sunfire into Thornmail, and then we'll see. I should just be able to win by not doing too much to set because tank Malphite... You don't really have to do anything. You just stand there and clap them. I do want to grasp. Maybe I'm good against Set because I can lower his attack speed for his punches. I'll trade him pretty hard even though he got the start on me there. Once he has his punch though, I'm going to take a lot of damage in trades. But maybe because I don't deal, like, a ton of damage in burst, it's not going to fill up his bar quick. I won't do too much. Okay, I need to conserve mana. No more rocks. I will E. Okay, he used that without even taking much damage, so that's on cooldown. I'm going to use a potion to just keep my health up. He does have crazy health regen too. Because he has Doran Shield. Maybe Second Wind. And his passive. So he's actually... Maybe it's good for him to take those trades because he kind of is out healing me. Because he didn't even use his potion. I'm going to run out of mana. I don't have a teleport. So he's definitely going to get ahead of me here. But it's okay. I think we're going to do Q max. We could try here, but... Oh, Kindred's here. I definitely don't want the wave to push unless they're gonna chase Nocturne. Okay, good. All they gotta do is just not die here. Nocturne should really flash. Oh my god, why did he wait till he's 1 HP? Alright, let's get the. Where is it? The Iceborne. Get a Sheen. Yeah, that was easily avoidable. But at least I got the wave in the turret so it reset, but Set got an assist. They're pretty even there. I think once I get first item, I can fight him better, because it's going to reduce the damage he does too. Yeah, he did get ignited. Pretty sure. Unless he was, I think it was Kindred's red buff, but I'm pretty sure he got ignited too. Well, maybe with a Sheen I could fight him. Can't hold the wave, there's too many. He's also a level on me, so I can't fight him. burn all my mana CSing. Let's just fight him and see what happens. I have Ignite. Plus a Sheen. Oh my god, we're beating him up. A little closer than I wanted it to be. Luckily, he didn't hit 6 in that fight. Injured spot. Silas is down there, too. I didn't get that one. Oh no, he has TP. I got the cannon. 
need to run. Oh god, I might need to ult away. He's going Blade of the Ruin King first. I should be good against that build. I think I'm gonna grab... I'm just gonna grab the armor and see what happens. Cause actually, let's see. Oh yeah, that's a lot of armor. It gets, when I rank up my W, my armor increases, but I think I'm supposed to rank that up last. Cause I'm not gonna have a ton of armor till it's, uh, till it's full rank anyway. You have a Jarvan support too, so they're so AD heavy besides the Silas. I just need Silas not to get super fed, but I mean, I can get a Force of Nature later. I just don't think I'll ever have enough damage to kill Silas, but I won't die to him that quick. I don't know. We'll see. I should actually uh, space my abilities out pretty far to use that Sheen proc as much as I can. Well, I didn't really take that much damage there, and I tanked a lot of minions. If he wastes his punch again, I'll I'll just all in. I think we're stronger than him, though. I can just walk behind him when he wants to. Uh, you know what? I'll wait till my Q's up. I think I can kill him. There we go. I did it a little early because I knew my Q was going to come up off cooldown as soon as he's out of CC. But he did level up. So that scared me. Kindred's bot. Yeah, I feel like I have a lot of damage. And considering we're beating a set who has a ton of damage, I'm sure if I was against like a Zed or a Yasuo, they wouldn't even stand a chance. For the Sheen proc. I don't want to accidentally push the wave though, but I think it's going to push regardless. I can't clear this. He's going to run at me. Oh, I need more money. Well, I could pick up steel caps here. I think I'll do this and this though. I don't want to delay the Iceborne too long. Because it's going to be. It's a really good item. Silas down. So Iceborne and then Sunfire and then I do a ton of damage just standing next to them and hitting them. I just, I have a lot of damage coming from a lot of different sources. It's not like, it's a lot of little damage coming from a ton of different sources. That's what it is. It all adds up. I think if Kindred comes up here now, I just have to ult away. He doesn't have his Blade of the Ruined King yet. I think even with that, I should beat him in fights because it doesn't make him tanky. It makes him really good at dueling with auto attacks, but my E slows his attack speed. It appears he does not want to fight me anymore. Maybe I'll crash a big wave into his turret and then go buy this. I think he's running to Kindred, but let's see. Oh my damage. I mean, he only he doesn't have any resistances, so basically he's he's actually a pretty squishy champ. He's not going to be any tankier than Kindred. I just I don't want to get hit under his turret. I'm just going to fight this. Oh my god. Clap your hands, Malphite. Clap them. Clap them, Malphite. Is that theirs or ours? Okay, that was ours. Lucky me. Yep, look at that. I'm winning by doing nothing. I got lucky Kindred didn't get her ult up. Oh, Silas is coming. Budge. I'm probably dead. Oh, I wanted plating, but... Silas is the only thing that's going to stop me from being able to carry. Okay, he did go up, but he went back down. Kimo did a good job at pinging me. Okay, let's do armor boots. Okay, so 200 armor. 
I don't really take physical damage. I'll transcend. Let's see. I take 66% reduced damage because they don't have any armor pen or anything yet. Also, they deal 10% less damage. Yeah, they don't. They're not going to do anything to me. And I get Sunfire next, I cook him, then I get Thornmail healing, healing reduction plus a ton of reflect damage because like Ramus, you get a ton of armor and that converts into reflect. Dude, I'm actually just beating him to death. Okay. Well, now I can see why Melfight's favorite in this matchup. We just need to survive there early. Get to one item. Like my oh, that's why they're nerfing the W. My W auto attack actually hits so hard. Well, I shouldn't get aggro just by existing. Oh my god, the super clap. I think with shield bash, the sheen auto, the armor, the extra damage from this, that's crazy. And now I just got conditioning. I have 221 armor. I don't think Kindred can kill me. I really don't think she can kill me. Maybe if I'm, like, stuck under turret. Oh, I think she's going for the mark. And Malphite has, like, pretty decent base attack speed, it feels like. Or maybe it's just because of my auto reset. Okay. Let's do the Sunfire. Bombies. Now I have extra 23 magic damage every second around me. Pretty solid. My bot lane's getting run over, but it's okay because uh, Jin's not really a tank melter. Jarvan's not a tank melter, especially if he's building tank. Kindred can somewhat melt a tank, but once I have a thorn mail, she's going to melt herself. Yeah, and Silas isn't super fed. I think we'll be okay. I really don't want to have to build magic resist this game. So if we all just focus Silas and then I just stand still, we win because nobody can kill me on their team besides Silas. Proxy. What are they gonna do? Here, I have a rock. There's nothing they could do to me. Maybe if Kindred had Kraken Slayer. This is gonna take too long. He's in the bush. He has surrendered these to me. Um, Silas still mid. As long as Silas is mid, I... Oh my god, and we got a mountain. Free. I mean, I'm kind of letting him farm by doing this. I should just go whack him a few times. I mean, he lost half of his health. I lost a quarter of mine, and I was fighting under his turret. Oh, I was zoomed in a little bit. Okay. Is the whole game zoomed in like that? You know what? Let's just play like this. A lot of people ask in the comments why my game looks so zoomed out. It's because you're probably playing on a, a laptop screen, which is small. It shows you more if you're playing on a bigger screen. So if you have like one of those ultra wide screens, you kind of see too much. But I think my monitor size is 20. It's either 24 or 27 inches. And also my HUD size. I put my HUD size to zero, so it's like as small as it can go. Having a bigger HUD size makes it look like you could see less or makes you look like you're more zoomed in. Which, this is this information doesn't need to be big, like unless your eyesight's really bad. Should I go kill Botlin? Maybe I'll go Rome. I'll go Botlin. I may lose my top turret, but uh, I can probably kill them. Do they got flash? Jarvan flashed. I think they're leaving.
I should be able to 1v1 Silas here just because I'm ridiculously fed, even though I don't have any magic resist. Oh, they're here. Well, I think I can still fight this. Did I get exhausted? I stole my own. Fight this. Look at this. I'm only taking damage from, uh... I'm only taking damage from Silas, and he stopped hitting me. Jin flashed. He's gonna jump over the wall ball soon. They're not getting away. They might try and kill Teemo though. I'm gonna get my passive shield back. I think we're gonna, just gonna go for Silas. Ignite him so he doesn't heal off me. There we go. I think I can get Jin too. He's really fast. I was gonna flash rock him. But he's got Swifties. And I don't think I'd be able to chase him still. I'll leave. Of course. Wait, that doesn't stop my base because I have a shield. Cool. Okay, this, and then... No, wrong item. This, and then this, and then... I don't have enough for that. I'd rather keep the uh, Doran's Ring instead of selling it for a health crystal. Why would I sell it for an item of lesser value? I only sell my Doran's Rings and my Doran's items if I can buy either like an 800 gold thing sometimes or the full thing. Unless you really need the inventory slot for like a large rod or something. There's an order. But yeah, I basically just stand still and clap people. I don't have to do much. Nice, look at this. My apprentice with the corner shrooms. You're doing well. Like they, if they want to kill me, they have to have all five people hitting me. Up W? I thought my W gives me more armor. Oh no, it's while my shield's active. So I have 371 armor. I'm taking 80% reduced damage. Um. Well, I can't go top because their whole team's mid. He actually, he can't steal my ult this fight, he already did. Nice, man, look at that. It's a full tank now fight. Did I even get hit that fight? I think we get a shroom. I can't really catch this guy. He's gonna have a jump up again in a few seconds. Oh yeah, tank meta. What are they gonna do to me? Look, I, I do almost as much damage as an AP Malphite. Actually, I do about half as much damage as an AP Malphite, but I'm I'm literally unkillable. Like, what what are you gonna do to me? They don't even wanna hit me. Flap. He just dead, he didn't even have time to W. Maybe he already used it. 312 armor. At 19 minutes. I'm not even, like, this isn't even late game. This is mid game. And we're building a thorn mail. Once I get thorn mail, they, they die from hitting me. I, I turn into a Ramus. A baby Ramus. Okay. We're getting the dragon. That's all that matters. I have ult up in a few seconds. Hey, hit a shroom. He should be dead. Jin hit a shroom. They're all hitting shrooms. You didn't get the dragon yet? Oh, hey, Jin. Remember when you flashed away? Clap. Everybody clap your hands. Malphite's coming. Set's going in the pit. I don't know where he went. Okay, well, at least he didn't get the dragon. I could ult him. Fuck it. He's tanked. I need to ignite. He's gonna have his combo up in like really soon. Uh, oh wait, I forgot. I have unlimited armor. Oh, am I getting hit by something? Is that a fully charged turret only doing 300 damage? Okay, he wants to steal my ult and ult me, so we're gonna run. Oh, 
Another turret. How unfortunate that I am Malphite with 300 armor and it didn't even break my shield. <laughs> what are turrets? They don't they don't exist. Okay, we have thorn mail. I kind of want to go like stone plate. Just get even more. Oh, I could do frozen heart too. Frozen heart or stone plate. I do use a lot of mana. They do all auto attack. I mean, frozen heart actually works for Silas because he auto attacks too. 90 armor and it's cheaper. Let's do this. Plus, I'll get haste and mana. And then we'll do stone play last, and I, I will virtually be unkillable. Like, what what can they do? Even Silas, like, that build doesn't have, like, a whole lot of damage. He can survive for a while and keep Wing me and healing, but as you can see, my team's able to kill him. So we, we have no problem winning this game. This game is over. I'd like to see Jin try to kill me with a Gale Force Rapid Fire Cannon. It would take him, like, an hour to kill me. He'd actually die. He would probably die from the Thornmail before before uh, he kills me. Because he has no healing. He's fleet. Set's punch didn't even break that. Garvin just, like, yoinked the blue buff and left. 522 armor. 84% reduced damage. Not a single piece of armor pen in sight. So what's really good versus this is either them building an LDR or a Cleaver. Cleaver's actually really good against a lot of armor. Because it reduces my armor. It doesn't just penetrate it. It reduces it, so then I do less damage. No way. The turret does a, less than 100 damage on the first shot. Yeah, I might need to ult out of this. Thornmail did 327 there. I think that was the first fight with it. Oh, God. Not Silas. She ulted really early, which helps them out. Know. Close. I need to heal. I have red buff, so I'm healing. I'm just going to try and grab this in case they somehow go to Baron. Look at I've healed quite a bit left. Set set can't kill me. The only one that can kill me at this health is nobody. Hold me over the wall. Look at that, that's a Q auto. Look at how much red buff healed me. That's why red buff region is busted. I was like one HP. And now I'm full HP. Nobody wanted to hit me. Okay, I'll sell this for this. I need three hundo. You better run. That's coming for you. Let's play around the shrooms. He only has two kills, but he built the Andres, so his shrooms do a lot of damage. And Senna also scales. Ah, uh, Kindred Wit's End is doing damage to me. That's a good item versus me, but... Enter Kraken, but it's fine. I just solo carry the city. Nobody even tried stopping me because they know they can. My frozen heart, 600 armor. I mean, you can hit me if you want. I'm taking a lot of magic damage. Look at that, 600 magic damage. I oh, I only have 70 magic resist. I have like 10 times as much armor. I actually do have 10 times as much armor as magic resist. So I'll go stone blight last. It gives me a ton of armor, but it also gives me magic resist. I could do force in nature, which would be even better. I see Jarvan going here. They're not doing it. But force in nature gives us no armor and I want to hit a lot of armor. Maybe Q, or I don't have all. 
Don't steal my own. Oh. Wait, steal her all yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll block her. Get injured out, she can't. Oh. My E just killed two people. 400 damage on this. I'm not, I can just read the stats. I don't even have to look. I just right click. I literally just right click, and I'm not even gonna look at what's happening. I should be chasing Jarvan. I should be chasing, I'm dying. Oh yeah, he lowers my armor. Does it matter though? Does it really matter? How many turret shots did I just tank there? Like 20? Wait for my shield to come back up. 721. I take 88% reduced physical damage. 88%. You ain't hurting me. 89. I want the red buff solely because it's just going to heal me back to full if I take damage. And then also, I'm never going to die, so I can just keep applying the auto attacks on everybody. This is why Malphite's getting nerfed. When he's a meta top laner, you know top lane's not in the greatest spot because you shouldn't be able to win by doing nothing by existing. Scion and Malphite and Rammus can just win just by existing. Just by getting in the way. But a lot of it comes down to draft. I mean, you can draft champions that beat these champions, but nobody really wants to play them. That rock's gonna hit and give me move speed in a few seconds. Oh, there it is. Come here. gonna get silent. Yeah. Okay. Thornmail's at 3,100 damage. It reflects 120 damage per auto attack. Jin probably has like 1,200 health. Now 2,000. Come get me. Why does nobody want to hit me? I think Jarvan Q lowers my armor by like 25%. Maybe even more. 400. My armor has been reduced. Oh, they have a cleaver on Jarvan too, so Jarvan can lower my armor by half. There they go. It's okay. Stone plate is on the way. Oh, we should we should go do Baron because they're turtling in their base. They're gonna scale. Jin's never gonna have armor pen, but Jarvan can lower all my armor. It's just even when you take away half of this armor, I still don't take damage. They're going to hit a bunch of shrooms before they even get to us. They don't know we're on it, but they should assume that we are since we all just disappeared from pushing. But they're not coming. And they probably don't think we're on it now that he just ulted. How much do I need? I don't think we'll make it to stone plate. Because I would need to base again after a fight. Which if we fight, we'll probably win. You know, my shield only gives me an extra 300 armor. Kind of need mana. Well, we get Infernal Soul too, so we're just gonna have too much damage. Oh, he doesn't need mana. Sunfire's at 2700, Thornmail's at 4100. Uh, Iceborne's at 1500. It doesn't really do damage. It's really good for the slow though. I could ult this guy, he could Gale Force it. Oh, we'll do the plant top. Shall try to save. Well, as you can see, even Silas can't hurt me. Even Silas couldn't even break my shield. And Silas is Malphite's like biggest counter, I think. If there's a Malphite in the game with Silas, Silas has like a 6% higher win chance for like 9. I don't even know which one it is. Ooh, I almost have the stone plate. Then we can get up to like a thousand armor. 
Well, the, the thing is, stone plate ramps up in combat, and I'm, I'm gonna lose my shield in combat. So maybe if I get hit by some small stuff that doesn't break the shield. Bro, look at that. It set ult doesn't even break my damn shield. Stop it, stop it. Jin, you're, what are you shooting? Peas at me? I'm invincible. Alright, there's my dance for 10 gold. That doesn't deserve your like, then I don't know what will. Alright. I don't really think I can get much more armor than this. 839, 89%. Didn't seem like it went up at all. But, we get, uh... 32 armor. How many times? Five times. But my shield needs to not break. But Silas might not break my shield. Come here. Come here, do some damage to me. Why are you running? I'm just a tank. How much? 931 armor. 90% reduced damage. Like, look at this. Just hit me. I don't care. I'm gonna go watch something else and hope I get the inhib. Oh my goodness. Bro, he did like 20 damage. 76 damage. Fourth shot. Let's see your fourth shot. 94 damage, fourth shot. He's taking more damage from hitting me. He actually is taking more damage from hitting me than he's dealing to me. They don't even want to hit me. 966 armor. Oh man, it went shield broke. The Kindred W must do the magic damage. So it is. Jin, stop. Tickle me. Oh, please, yes. 66. He's like, ah, I'm not shooting that guy. Ah, he got sent out of that. Uh oh. Too fast for you. Well, I want to ult Kindred. She's going to ult, and then she won't die. That's good. Oh, you're also a wee bit early. Joke's on you. I don't even gotta use this thing to kill you guys. <laughs> I mean, like... What can they do to me? I guess Silas isn't that great versus Malphite if he's the only AP. He did die 11 times, but yeah. There we go. Full armor Malphite. Oh, I had a thousand armor. I have a thousand armor. Wow! How did I get that at the end? Oh, maybe maybe it's stacked up. That's cool. I didn't think I was going to hit it. If you guys enjoyed and you didn't like earlier, please do so before you go. Also, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. And make sure you're leaving comments. I do read them. Look at that. Full tank. 48k damage. Let's see self-mitigated. This is going to be disgusting. 102k damage block just from like my shield and stuff. Damage taken. I probably have less damage taken than where is it? Taken. Yeah, look at this. I didn't take any damage because I I blocked it all. That's crazy. Grasp did 2100. Shield bash did 1100. That's cool. And yeah, other than that, see you later. Peace.